I think the first 10 overs were pretty good. Um, you know, 40, what, 43 for three. Um, and then we probably lost a bit of uh, concentration with the ball in the last 10 to give away 110 runs on that wicket. I thought it was a bit too much. Um, you know, we, we had a plan. We wanted the guys to come and hit the deck because it was not uh, doing much. But, um, you know, we didn't uh, bowl very well to Viru. But at the same time, should give credit to Viru as well. I thought he batted really well on a difficult wicket and um, got them to a score, which I thought was uh, very good on that track. And when we batted, obviously losing wickets up front doesn't help. And uh, um, I thought, you know, 130, 140 would have been a very competitive target for us to chase, but, you know, um, it was tough on that wicket. They bowled well. Which catch? Uh, um, I mean, with any any player, I think, you know, dropping a, a, a good player like Viru is always a tough one, but, you know, half chance uh, could have gone anywhere. Um, you can't just put the blame on just that, but you know we need to try and make sure we try and get it uh, right the next time. Um, Rifi pulled up uh, sick this uh, morning. He was in hospital. He was going through th some scans. Um, we were not sure exactly what's wrong with him. Still, he just got back to the dressing room. Um, so we needed another all-round Indian who can bowl and bat in that number seven spot because um, we, we, we sort of go with a 7-4 combination with an all-rounder. So um, that's what we played uh, in place of Rifi Gomez. No, I think he bowled good areas. I thought he bowled nice and straight on that wicket, which is always tough to you know, play because you're not sure exactly whether the ball is going to keep low or not. Um, that's the difference. I think he bowled nice areas. And I, I tried to bowl him through because he was bowling well. Shivak's wicket was very vital at that time. Um, to him, I thought he bowled really well today, very well on that wicket. Yeah, I mean, that's what I did up, to, up until about the 10th over. You know, I thought, you know, to steady the ship after the, the few wickets fell. But then at that point, the run rate was over and above 10. You know, somebody has to take chances. But I wasn't trying to actually hit. I was just trying to hit those gaps, um, which is a bit tough on this wicket, the way they bowled. Uh, yeah, I mean, my idea was to try and bat another few more overs, 14, 15, and maybe target a few bowlers and, you know, take a, take a chance. Um, I think that's what everyone tried to do at the end. Um, but it's always tough when you, when you are pushed to a corner like that. Well, I think um, the way we are bowling the first, you know, um, six, seven overs, encouraging, we are very aggressive, trying to pick up wickets for attacking bowlers, which is great. We are picking up early wickets, but then the last game as well, I think against Deccan, we gave away close to about 80 runs in that last 10 overs, and today probably over about 100 runs. So that's something that we need to sort out, um, make sure that you know we finish uh, on a high note. Um, and at the same time with the batters, you know, yes, some of the guys a bit of a lean patch and we just need to try and spend more time out there in the middle and consolidate like what we did in the first few games it didn't look really good but the last few games hasn't been up the conditions have been tough as well and be critical like what path they've got you know it was uh, you can't so um but we need to keep our heads up and you know try and uh, focus on the next game